And of course, when you look at a snowflake in some detail, you notice that whilst they're all different, there is a, a similarity to them. There's something, there's a sameness, a sixness to them, some kind of symmetry that they all exhibit. And so that got Kepler thinking, why would it be that these things, these snowflakes that fall from the sky, all share this similar structure? And, and I find it wonderful that he, he, in that book, he essentially says that it must be something to do with the building blocks, that there must be some underlying reason why nature has this symmetry. And then he goes on to think about pomegranate seeds and beehives and all sorts of things and hexagons in nature. But it really, what you're glimpsing there, and, and Kepler said in the translation of the book, in the English translation, there's this wonderful line at the end where he, say, he says, I'm knocking on the doors of chemistry. So, so I'm, I'm not sure 